There are many great tragedies unfolding in the Middle East today. We've all heard about the death of Yazidis and Christians, sex slavery, rape, torture. But there's another thing that's happening, which is about inanimate objects, but a very much a human problem. And that is, history is being destroyed. There was a gentleman, 81 years old, Khalid Assad, who was considered the best expert on Palmyra. He spent all of his life studying this. He was beheaded and his body hung around a column at one of the temples that he loved. This is the death of history and it is part of Islamic doctrine. Islam even has a word for this, jahiliya. You see, history that does not include Allah is ignorance of Islam and therefore despised by Allah and it is to be destroyed. And that is exactly what is going on with Islamic State's destruction of ancient monasteries and Roman temples and others. It is the death of history because you see it is offensive to Allah and it must be removed. Now there's another reason that he was beheaded and that has once again part of the Sunnah of Muhammad. You see he knew where some of the ancient treasures that had been stored in the museums had been relocated and hidden away from Islamic State but he wouldn't tell them, and so he was tortured murdered. You know, Muhammad did the same thing. He attacked a tribe of Jews, and after he defeated them, he tortured the Jewish chieftain because he knew that the chieftain had buried silver somewhere. And so to get the treasure, he staked him onto the ground and built a small fire under his on his chest in order to torture him that he might reveal the location of the treasure. Well, the Jewish chieftain did not, so then Muhammad had him unstaked, and presented to one of his jihadi warriors who had lost a brother that day in combat and the jihadi cut off the head of the Jewish chieftain just like they did with Khalid al-Assad. Islam is to destroy history. It's done that in Egypt. It's done it in two different ways. Remember when the Muslim Brotherhood came to power and there were riots? Well, one of the things they did in the riots was to break open the museums and to steal and destroy. But that's not the first time that that has happened in Egypt. Because you see, have you ever seen the Sphinx and it has its nose blown off? That was done by Muslims. They also did try to destroy the pyramids. So the destruction of history is part of Islam. Not the preservation, but the destruction because history without Allah is offensive to Allah. So there are many deaths and destructions going on by Islam in the Middle East, people, and history. We're seeing the death of history here in our own United States. The new textbooks that they're using to teach seventh graders here in Tennessee presents an entirely distorted history of the world. It builds up and elevates Islam and denigrates or doesn't even include Christianity. So here in America we're also experiencing the death of history as well. The death of history is the death of humanity. It's tragic. I'm sorry. Thank you.